Welcome back, grab a snack that wasn't supposed to rhyme or grab your mop, broom, whatever you're gonna do and let's get some cleaning done. Before we jump in, like this video and leave me a comment down below of what you are getting done today. First up, I wanna start off with some organizing of some spaces that have been really needing attention and say thank you to the sponsor of this video, walmart.com. Spring is a time to re-energize where anything is possible. Take on that DIY project, make over your backyard, organize that unruly closet or pantry in my case. Walmart has has the unmatched opportunity to be a catalyst for discovering and embracing every possibility of spring. They have the best quality, stylish spring assortment. What I've had my eye on for so long is the Home Edit collection of storage solutions. This includes very budget-friendly organizing for every room of the house, and I'm showing you several spaces here in my own home. You can get so much more for your money when it comes to organizing, and that is why I love Walmart. It can be so expensive just to clean up your space, but that's why I love this collection. I will link each product that I'm using here. I am taking on our arts and crafts space. One of the problems that I've been having is that um, we have arts and crafts in every room of the house and I need one central location and I need to narrow down the products and be able to see them. So that's what I love about these bins here is that they are clear. I can see what we have. I can reach for them for the girls. We still have young girls, so I like to keep them up high in this closet. Organizing this makes it so much easier to take on little projects with the girls and have fun. What I used here was the Home Edit 8 piece multi-purpose edit plastic modular storage system. So what's really cool is that these were kind of specifically for arts and crafts and they have different systems like that. The large bins I used in our pantry and the linen closet are great for any room of the house and the home edit three tier risers for the cans in the pantry give me more visibility and make our grocery list easier to think through. I love being able to see everything that we have. These products from Walmart make organizing so easy and make everyday life just a little bit smoother. I also wanted to um, highlight this Rubbermaid 18 piece leak proof container set that I use for fridge organization. These have airtight seals that make them great for food prep or leftovers, but what I found that they are amazing for is for storing fresh produce. I did a Walmart pickup for some fresh fruit here to have to snack on outside this springtime. And this is how I like to clean and prep for the fruit for the week. I found that storing them this way keeps the produce fresh for so much longer than any method that I've tried. Again, controlling the chaos with this five piece set for laundry, but I found it also to be useful under the sink. I also ordered a couple extra of the turntables for cabinets in the fridge to be able to see all of my everyday use items. Walmart has everything you need to tackle any spring reno project. Click the link in the description to shop for your upcoming projects and check out all of the products featured here. Thank you again to Walmart for sponsoring this video. We are going through clothes in the girls room. I just did laundry, but before I put them away, I wanna go through and take out all the things that don't fit them right now before the spring season really hits us. Like I said, because we live in a four seasons area, I go through our girls' clothes pretty much every season. This is getting ready for spring now. I like to take out all of the things that they haven't worn in a while, don't currently fit them, and then I will pack them up for our youngest who will be getting all of these clothes as she grows. Right now our big girls are in the same kind of size area that I can just move everything from Emerson, our oldest, right down to Charlie. So I'm putting some of the things into the bins and then I'm able to pull out our stuff from last year and just throw that right into Charlie's closet. out five T, which is Emmy's last year stuff for Charlie this year. They're on a good schedule of passing things along to each other.
love the feeling of good cleaned out closet. It makes it so the girls can grab themselves their own clothes in the morning, pick out their outfits really easily by themselves. So moving on, I've got these picture frames that I ordered a little while ago to hang up on the wall. I've had three of them on the wall already, but because we have a new edition, I wanted to add some new photos to take up the rest of the hallway. I can put a link to this website where I ordered them from down below. Pretty good deal on these, but I'm just sticking them up with command strips and making sure everything's level. Next up, we are taking on the playroom. Of course, the girls are pretty great about picking up after themselves every day. Every once in a while, I like to do a bigger cleanup put away. I didn't film it, but this is the week that we went through all of the girls' stuffies, all of the girls' toys every once in a while. I like to do a big clean out and see what we can donate. And I play a game with them called Keep, Buy, and Maybe. They think it's really fun. So I set the girls up on the couch and basically I present each item to them and we all have a vote on whether we want to keep the item we're ready to say goodbye to the item give it to somebody else to have fun with or it's a maybe so i treat it like a game show and it ends up being a lot of fun for the girls they do really well with this there are several items that i say we keep we're kind of keep forever we're gonna pass them along to britain and i want to have you know, with us for a really long time, but then we go through every other item as well. So how we do it is if there is one keep and one goodbye or, you know, conflicting votes there, then we put it in the maybe pile. And at the very end, we come back and I kind of put the maybes against each other. And I asked the girls, would you rather play with this toy or this toy? I just found that they do really well with this and they have a lot of fun just because we do it in a fun way. So if you're looking for a way to get your kids to help declutter with you, maybe try that out. If you are new to my channel, I just wanted to say hello. I've recently posted a few room makeover videos, this room being one of them. So if you wanna see the transformation of this loft slash playroom in more detail, I will link those videos down below as well as a kitchen makeover that just went up. And I wanna say thank you guys for all the love on that video. I loved all the feedback on the cabinet color. You guys are always so very helpful. If you missed either of those videos, they're both really good ones, I will link them below. Also, I haven't mentioned my cleaning buddy here yet. She's also here with me doing audio if you hear her hiccups in the background. This is our newest little one. We have three girls, a five-year-old, a three-year-old, and just under two months old when we filmed this video, and she's kind of going through a I like to sleep on mommy phase, so that's why I am wearing her around. This is one of my old baby carriers from our first that I busted out to get some of this cleaning done.
you saw the nursery that I just picked up, but because Britain is so little, most of her time is spent in here, which means every morning we gotta do a reset of this room, get all of those dirty clothes from the night before, switch out sheets, throw away diapers, all of the good stuff. Gonna pick up and make up our bed here. Just get this room back into shape. Britton was enjoying her little bouncer, so I like that I can just pick it up and move it room to room as long as she's having a good time in there. This was a beautiful spring day, so I was able to open the windows and put her over there so she could look outside. She loves the trees and the sunshine, and I love the fresh air in our bedroom. to mention this room refresher spray. I like to spritz it around, if you will. Um, each room after it's clean, freshen the space up. I like this honeysuckle scent from Mrs. Myers. It feels very springy to me. Moving over to the hallway, Britt was a little bit over her time in the bouncer, but she still liked seeing the things around and out in front of me, which is why I had her facing out while I was cleaning. But it wasn't until later that I realized when I got some messages that she is a little bit too young to be facing out, so this isn't good for her hips. Thank you to those of you who sent me that message. I actually, we went on a trip to Florida recently and I invested in a new carrier that's a lot better for her little body and I won't be turning her around until she's the appropriate age, which I think is about six months months, but I'm not the expert. Anyway, thanks for the reminder there. And she did have fun and fell asleep while we were doing this. power clean of this downstairs half bath, which I don't show off a lot. It is one that will be a very big transformation when we finally get to taking on that project. And speaking of projects, when I filmed this, we were still in the middle of the kitchen, which you can now go see the full after of. The fun of living in renovations, you can see, is we just have to live with the mess and that means we've got a lot going on at all times so i'm gonna pick up the living room as best as i can usually i wait till the project's over and the house kind of just gets taken over by everything but during this one i was a little bit overwhelmed so we're picking up as best as we could the things that we could and leaving the kitchen stuff alone for now
like last area I had time to pick up on this day is our front entryway. Just wanted to give it a good wipe down before we took off on vacation. Straighten things up and run that vacuum over it. Thank you guys so much for cleaning along with me or just watching along with me eating those snacks whatever you got to do we got some good organizing done today i hope you got some motivation for your own home we are working hard over here on some upcoming projects if you could like this video it helps my channel out so much leave me a comment down below and as always happy cleaning <laughs>